We moved to the United States from Burma when I was about three years old. Uh, we didn't have a lot of money, but my family would try to eat dinner together. And every night we would say this mantra, every day, in every way, we are getting better and better and better. In high school, I asked my dad a rather strange question. Uh, did you regret moving to the United States? And he said yes. And at that time, I wasn't really sure how to react to that. Because I felt as though if he regretted, you know, moving here, then all the time that I had spent in school trying to, you know, get good grades or whatever was like all a waste when I could have been in Burma and maybe they could have been happier. My parents always bragged to me about uh, their friends and their kids who were still in Burma and how they were getting accepted into Ivy League schools, you know. So I wondered. You know, if I had taken the same path, like, would they have been happier? Because then they could stay with their friends and, you know, they wouldn't have to worry about language barriers or adjusting to a new culture or anything like that. When I went to college, I decided to take a big leap of faith and decided maybe I didn't need to become a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer. Um, maybe I should be an anthropologist. So I, you know, signed up for anthropology as my major, and I did a lot of social justice -y things, like joined the student office for Asian Pacific Islander American Affairs, and held a lot of workshops on diversity and inclusion, took some feminism courses, you know. I had to explain to my parents what all of those were because they weren't understanding, uh, they didn't understand how those can become careers or how they can make you know how you can make money off of that. I think strangely one of the most fulfilling things I did in college was join the anime club because I really liked anime and I kinda kept it a secret in high school but in college I went all out and you know even dressed up as the characters and tried to get leadership uh, positions so I can head the club meetings and stuff like that. And for once, I felt like I was really in a community. I was surrounded by people who loved the same things I did. So I wondered if my parents wanted the same thing out of life. I think for immigrants, it's really hard because you always feel like you owe your parents something. Like, somehow you have to do something spectacular, otherwise they just wasted their time and sacrifices. I'm not really sure where I'm going right now um, with anthropology or my school activities or anything like that, but I want to be happy and I want to tell my parents that they didn't waste their time here and that every day in every way I'm getting better and better and better.